Okay, so this is the Gengan. Super tiny. Here are my shoes. Very tiny. Really awkward is that you got stairs right away. Um, you got this, what you would think to be a convenient shoe uh, storage, but it's slanted. There's basically no space to put anything in. So you got these steep stairs. Steep. To the right, there's a window that I never open. There's this little storage space with like two window-like things. Now, there's like this little hallway, right? You got a refrigerator, kind of small, a microwave, really old microwave. So here is kind of the bathroom area. You got a washing machine. This was broken when I got here. Some space for putting things in. Here's a toilet, very clean. Um, got storage space there. Standard Japanese toilet with like the washlet and stuff. Also, this feature, very common in Japan. I like it. Why do they not do that in America? Here's the bathroom. This is quite standard in a lot of the small apartments here. You have the bathtub and then you got the shower head that's connected to the faucet and there's a the sink and you got like a mirror. Basically, you brush your teeth and everything in here, which is kind of annoying because then what if your floor is wet? This is a, a nice little hidden compartment storage thingy. Lots of storage there. Um, we got storage here, right, for the kitchen. This is actually a cutting board that pulls out, but uh, this one's a real mess, so I never used it. You got the kitchen. You've got like storage here, storage here. This is my most hated feature of this apartment. Why? It's not IH, it's not a stove, it's hot plate, which is annoying. I don't like it. And then it's super tiny, but I don't mind a tiny stove. Also, where the heck do you cut things? Like, there's no space. Where, where is the space? Because I love cooking, and I can't cook here. Here we go. Just so you can get ready before you leave. There, actually, this comes with a set of two chairs. Uh, this is a table, sort of. Um, this actually folds. So you can like pop this up and roll that thing in and then you're gonna have more space. Never did that, I just had it like that always. Here's a window and it's like, wow, exciting. There's a window, yay. But you pop it open, All right? So this actually already came here, the little hanging thing. Uh, but yeah, there's no space. You can't get out of there. How the heck do you... Like, there's no way. You, you can't. And then that's their air conditioning. That's the AC unit, so like, try to hang things here. And that's it. You can't hang on this side either. Like, what? This is a, kind of a nice feature. There's separated, like, two sets of closet space here. So there's this. There's a lot of space. It's like storage on the top too, and this is pretty sturdy. And then... Here's uh, this one. Okay. So, lots of storage space. Pretty much every Leo Palace will come with a TV. So, uh, there's storage there, and then this is cool too. There's like a little step here. There's storage there. There's storage here. This is peeling. And this is where basically the bed would be, or your futon. This is a bit annoying, never liked it, because it's like, it's like it wants to be a bunk bed, but it's not. It might seem exciting at first, because the cool feature of that is that there's storage in the bottom here. Lots of storage. Maybe you could even hide there. Hide somebody, I don't know. Right? Lots of storage space, very helpful. So that's a cool thing, but you know, it's kind of annoying having to go up and down this thing and then up here. Uh, it's also pretty stiff, so you definitely gonna want to have like a little mattress underneath your futon. And there's storage there too, and there's storage there too, and that's cool. So yeah, this is what a Leo Palace is like.